So here's a little introduction to the new project. The new project is converting a lumber room or a garage or I think, um, into a living space. And this living space is going to be my living space because uh, my young son needs his own room now and uh, I have to move out of my studio upstairs and rebuild it here. So it's going to be a sort of semi-professional recording studio, TV studio, whatever. At the moment it's just a junk room. Um, you might be wondering why I'm record doing these videos. I found lots of tips on YouTube when I want to do something. I type in YouTube and people give you tips. And so this is tips how to convert a garage into a living space. Well, the first job that's got to be done is insulation. So we're gonna, first of all, insulate this roof up here. those rolls of insulation. And between those spars on the roof, we've got to put in the insulation. So this is the concrete floor here. Here's a drain which has got to be capped Otherwise, if the water comes back ever for some flooding reason, it doesn't come up into the room. That's going to be capped. And this floor is going to be covered with bitumen, um, sort of tar paper type thing. So there's a seal between this concrete floor and the room. And when that's done, all this floor will be sealed, going up the wall a little bit on the sides. And when that's done, we have to lay some spars on the floor like this, all the way across. And then using this material, called OSB board, then we lay the floor on top of these bars, on top of these spars. So the first job is seal the floor, which I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna get somebody in to do that because uh, I don't want to be messing about with uh, blow torches and tar and everything, it's not my thing that one. Best to get someone who knows what they're doing so the floor is properly sealed. All the other jobs I'll be doing myself, putting all the woodwork in, building in the floor. At the back all that stuff's coming out. I've got to put some of these spars on the wall. I'll show you now. See this wall behind me here? That's a concrete wall, and behind that, uh, there's dirt. It's below ground level at the front. So that makes it a perfect place for a studio, because the sound's not going anywhere. It's almost like a cellar, really. But this wall needs some insulation too. So what we'll be doing is putting on some wooden bars, wooden beams like that bolt those to the wall and then we put insulation in there and then afterwards same as the floor these OSB boards will get put on there to make the walls same job with the roof insulation in these gaps and then this OSB board on top These doors will be coming off and they're going on the bike shed at the front of the bike shed. And instead of these sliding doors, we're gonna put big sheets of glass in here, four big pieces, a gap there with some wood. One, two, three, four. So we have a wall of glass from the floor up to here. If any of you have been following my other videos, building a greenhouse, all the glass was given from a firm who uh, they were going to throw the glass away and uh, 
because I'm like a magpie, I don't like throwing stuff away. And when I had the chance to get this glass, I said yes straight away. And once I got the glass, now I can think of a new project to do with it. That keeps me busy, it keeps me out of trouble, and gives me a subject for a YouTube video. So here's, there's all the glass waiting, ready and waiting. That's going to be put in there. This stuff is probably worth about 500 euros a sheet. I got it for nothing. And that's going to be a wall of glass there in front of the new Entropy Studio. This stuff is the um, insulation for the roof. And uh, we'll be doing that in a video tomorrow, insulating this roof, showing you how to do it, how to put on foil to stop condensation. And doing quite a lot of this work, so we're showing you how to do it properly. But the first job is clear all this mess out. All these shelves have got to come out. All this junk, a lot of it can be thrown away. It's just junk, really. Stuff you collect up and put in a spare room and never use it again. Well, actually, you do. When you, as soon as you throw something away, you need it the next day. That's sod's law. So I'll get on with cleaning up this mess. And I hope these video, new series of videos of interest to some people. And um, we'll just see how it goes.